This is called Craven Bushcraft, and you're watching the Bush Channel. Enjoy. So here's all the day hiking equipment laid out that we carried here today. First things first, there's the backpack. That's a 40 litre backpack, quite uh, light, only weighs 1.2 kilos empty. So on the right side here, we have all the gear that Christina's been carrying in this six litre bum bag. We'll just start over at the left side here. Firstly, so it is a sunny day today, but a lot of this gear is emergency stuff that we carry just in case we're stuck here overnight. So starting off with a Gore-Tex jacket in case it rains, a spare pair of woolen socks and woolen thermals for emergencies, a woolen beanie, uh, here we have a woolen balaclava, very lightweight. And this is the red dry sack that we carry all those spare clothes in, so it's completely waterproof. Even if the backpack was to fall into a river, all those spare clothes would still be dry. So here's the food, what's left of it, because we have been eating some of the food. There's an orange, the white plastic bag that we carried everything in. Some ham, pre-made sandwiches, just ham and cheese sandwiches. Peanut butter, we did have a peanut butter sandwich and a Nutella sandwich. So something else we've discussed before in our videos is dried bananas. Uh, there's a few dried bananas there, and dried pawpaw, dried apple, uh, just mixed nuts. Here we have whey protein, so we like to carry that. It's quite high quality whey protein, it's almost 90% protein, so you just mix that with water. This is a sunglass pouch that I put over the, over the GoPro to protect the lens when I'm not filming. Here is my other camera, so a lot of my YouTube videos have just been filmed on this camera. Coolpix, Nikon, waterproof, shockproof camera, very simple. And there's the pouch for the Nikon camera. Here is my PSK survival bug out bum bag, which I have a, a completely separate video on. Inside there is a spare rope, just a gear rope, a Swiss army knife, cigarette lighter, satellite phone also in there if we are stuck somewhere and we don't have a signal. So there's a satellite phone inside the uh, bum bag. Here is my iPhone and a waterproof pouch for the iPhone. Another three gear ropes, so they're ropes that we could use to make a shelter in an emergency. Um, there's some cleaning alcohol, just for washing your hands without soap and water. Definitely something useful in the mountains like, uh, in exposed rocky mountains like this. Sunscreen, we have some Gatorade to mix with water. This is our emergency fire lighting system, so they're highly flammable cubes which you can use to get a fire going even in the wettest conditions um, some gorilla tape now here over here is our toilet paper inside that sealed up bag a digging trowel for digging a fire pit or for digging a hole when you need to go to the toilet so the only cutlery we're carrying is one titanium cup and one titanium spoon ultra light of course another emergency item that we carry for the purposes of what if you are stuck here overnight is just this saw so it's a bushcraft saw for cutting up wood if we needed to make a fire here is my torch just a very simple small single double a operated lens lens and a torch this is my climbing helmet with the gopro mount on top and legendaries flap we have another video on our channel on how to put a legendaries flap onto your climbing helmet here is Christina's climbing helmet, same as mine but pink. Um, we mentioned the bum bag. Here's a spare woolen jumper, just one. It's quite light, it only weighs probably uh, 350 grams. There's Christina's uh, waterproof jacket, Gore-Tex, or event fabric, same thing basically. This is the topography map of the area that we're climbing in, or hiking in, with a waterproof uh, cover. So this is a water waterproof cover for Christina's phone. This is the knife Christina is carrying. So just the Moira. We've mentioned this before on our channel. Great kitchen knives, great uh, knives if you're on a budget. <coughs> and I don't normally carry a pair of binoculars, but that's what's in that container, in that pouch, is a pair of binoculars, because up here we have a lot of visibility on these mountains. And we're trying to find different routes through the rocks and from a distance. 
it can be quite useful to have a pair of binoculars. So, a pair of gloves for Christina, and there is, I forgot to mention, there is also one pair of worn gloves inside the bug out bum bag. Um, there's Christina's trading pole and my trading pole. Just up here inside the cave on this rock ledge, I've got a 10 litre dromedary. At the beginning of today, we had five and a half litres in that sack because up on this mountain ridge where we are now, there are no creeks. So if you were stuck here overnight, or in our case, we'll be hiking the entire day, we'll probably drink all of that water. It is quite a sunny and hot day. And there's just a hydration hose on the dromedary. So I think that just about covers everything. Another thing we like to have on the top loop of a backpack is just another gear rope with a carabiner on it. So you can use that to just hang your bag in a tree. So just a closer look at the backpack. Also on the sides, we like to have just a, a small carabiner on each side of the backpack. So, in fact, we've taken the gear carabiner off that side, just put it onto the binoculars. So when you attach your gear to the side pocket of your backpack, you also just uh, beaner it on. You use your carabiner just to, as a secondary support in case that piece of equipment was to fall out of the side pocket. Let's just step back this way. You can see what this cave looks like. Absolutely beautiful. So again, if we were stuck on this mountain overnight, we could sleep in one of these caves, make a little fire in there. Fantastic little chimney happening through the top. 